Hello and welcome back. So today, I just came on my Roku and I saw that there is the 9.2 update. It's now available on my Roku. So since it's now available, I'm gonna update it. Then I'm gonna show you all of the new features that are available on the 9.2 update. So let me update it and we'll be back. There it is, the Roku 9.2 update is officially installed on my Roku. You can see immediately on the home screen, which I am going to go to immediately. If I go up one arrow, they have the new shortcuts feature on here, which I can go immediately to. And it will take me to the channel store, where I get to check out all of the content that I can install on my Roku. So that's one new feature right off the top. First feature I want to talk about is the Roku Zones. Now, to be honest with you, this is not a new feature. This was a feature that was included months ago, maybe around 9.0 or 9.1. It was originally a feature that you can say action movies with your remote and it will give you a list of content in that area. So this is not a new feature. Now, to demonstrate this feature, I'm going to take you back a couple videos ago to the video that I talked about the Roku Zones when it was available on OS 9.1. All you have to do is search for Zone, you'll get a row of Roku Zones like Music, The Mommy Zone, Lord of the Ring Zone, Pixar Zone, Twilight. They even have the, the Halloween zone. And you know, since Halloween's coming up, why not take a look at that? So as you can see here, they have a row of featured movies and shows. They have free Halloween movies, family favorites, spooky classics, and movies that make you scream. Let's take a look at the music zone right here. So Music Zone, they have free apps that you can listen to music on through Spotify, Pandora, Vivo, iHeartRadio.com, MyTuner, and then they have movie style available with a subscription, as you can see right here, including Tidal, that's, a, that's now available, Amazon Music, Sirius XM, and much more. So the next feature that is available is the 4k spotlight they claim that they rearrange the channel to provide leverage with the roku zones where you can browse a wide variety of 4k titles such as most popular content action drama tvs and more so let's take a look at that right now and see what it has all right there it is the redesigned 4k spotlight channel so you can see most popular content here as you can tell it looks like the Roku channel with the way it organizes all the content you get the usual stuff um, when you're loading up the content it gives you the options to pay for this channel with the 4k content on it we got the most popular channels the action the comedies horror movies, romance, all the usual genres, and at the bottom you have all of the 4K channels that the content is available on. So that's 4K Spotlight. The next feature I'm going to talk about is with the Roku Voice Remote. It has a, a couple new features that we're going to try out, including search by movie quotes, 4K, and Roku Search. Those are the two things we're gonna try out. I'm gonna start with the movie quotes. So I'm gonna search for movie quotes and test it out. Start with this one that I'm seeing on my laptop here. Here's looking at you, kid. To play music, you can install Pandora. That doesn't work. May the force be with you. To play music, you can install Pandora. Oh my goodness, that was a fail right there. Let's try this, let's try another one here. 
Because I'm looking at the website where they got off the movie codes and it's not loading up. It's telling me to go to Pandora. You're talking to me. Is it going to work? Not working. Set for this movie quote. I love the smell of napkin in the morning. Now I'm getting the results. There it is. So if you say for something like search for this movie quote. And then you say the quote. That's when you're going to get the content of the movie. So it kind of works. Let me try this again here. Search for this movie quote. You're talking to me. That's from Taxi Driver. There it is. Now it's working. Search for this movie quote. Rosebud. That's from Citizen Kane. So in order for you to search for the movie quote, you gotta say search for the movie quote and then you say the movie quote. That's how you activate the movie quote search feature. You don't just say the quote, you gotta say search for the movie quote and then you say the movie quote. So that search by movie quotes. The next voice feature is 4K. So I'm gonna search for 4K movies and it's expected that if I do that, it's gonna give me the 4K content. 4K movies. And then it has the Roku Zone feature for the 4K movies. And it basically looks the same as the 4K Spotlight channel I showed you earlier, minus the channel loading. So no need to show you that. The next feature I want to show you is the Roku Tips and Tricks. Now, you're not going to automatically see it as soon as you update your software. You're going to have to go into the channel store and search for this channel and then you're going to be able to access it on the home screen. To be honest with you, I like this channel right here. This is a new channel that's going to come with 9.2 and I like it. To me, to be honest, it feels like the good old days when I used to have direct TV and I saw on the channel one areas where I can check out tips and tricks content and get the most out of my direct TV experience. The way this channel feels, it feels like the good old days. Kind of nice. You want to have this cable like experience, like you want to have a tips and tricks channel that you use to check out when you have cable to learn more about your device. This is a great channel right here. I'll play one quick video. I'm not gonna play too much because I don't know if Roku is gonna hand out copyright infringement. There it is, you see the channel's working. And I can check out tips and tricks like um, removing a channel, manage streaming subscriptions, personalize my home screen, add the channel, and much more here, which is very nice. And you have the search feature, so you can search for remove a channel. Okay, let me search for that. And there it is. Areas like removing a channel, using your voice remote, right there on the Tips and Tricks channel. Additional updates include channel performance. It's going to help load up your video much better, better casting to reduce loading the screens when launching channels, and making the initial setup of a new Roku device channel. I mean, as you can tell based on one of the videos I just loaded up, let me just try another one. The content loaded up nice on here. But let me see if it works like with a live stream, for example. Have Pluto TV on here. Okay, load it up nice and fast. I can't really tell, to be honest, that it's going to be noticeably faster than the old 9.1 Roku operating system, but it loaded up nice, as you can see here. I'm gonna load up Hulu. Same start time as I used to have, but when I go home, the, the home screen loads up much faster, which is very nice. And as I just showed you earlier, another feature is the um, shortcut menu. 
And the good thing about the Roku is you can take off that shortcut menu if you don't like it by going to the settings, click on home screen, and then go to shortcuts and then hide it. So now when I go up, I won't see the shortcuts menu if you don't like it, if you think it's annoying, deactivate it. Another feature in the settings here that Roku did not mention is the bandwidth saver. So according to the guide here, it says if you haven't used the remote in four hours, a message will pop up if you are still watching it. And if you don't say yes, it's going to stop the content. It's going to save your network bandwidth. So that's a good feature right there. You know, don't waste up the internet speeds. You know, if you're going to keep the Roku on and forget about it, have that feature on there. That's some of the features that I want to show you here on the Roku 9.2 update. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you all of them, but hopefully you enjoyed this demonstration, new features, and a little bit of tips and tricks all mixed up in one video on the Roku 9.2 operating system that just rolled out to my device. Maybe if you got your update rolled out to your device, hopefully this video will help you explore stuff that you haven't noticed yet on your Roku. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Stay tuned, coming soon November I'm planning to do a review and first impression video of the Disney Plus streaming service. Now, I'm already very excited about it. I already pre-ordered it online and I can't wait to see what they have. So if you want to find out my thoughts about it and want to check out a review of it, stay tuned to the channel as I will cover Disney Plus on November 12th.